everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. SMT Nation, we back. We're doing some Verizon home internet testing. Uh, let's go ahead and test the Wi-Fi. Uh, the, de the device itself, the gateway, is pretty close. I'm just testing the, uh, the time of the day performance. So I'll do a series of these videos in which I'll be testing early morning. Well, well it's, I guess, 9, 9.30 a.m. Not too early. Uh, but then we're going to do a noon testing video. We'll do a 3 p.m. We'll do a 6 p.m., we'll do a 9 p.m., and then we'll do a midnight testing at some point. So all those will be coming in the series of videos. I'll be testing multiple devices across the board at different times of the day. All right, so to your left here, all right, that is the Samsung Galaxy S22. And you will see that we are definitely connected to the Verizon 5G home internet there. All right, next, we have the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So you got yourself an Android, a Galaxy Android, you got yourself an iPhone, and we are connected to the Verizon 5G home internet. And then you got your Pixel, all right, for those living the Pixel life. And that is the Pixel 7. All right, so we got all three of them. Let's go ahead and give them a test. Now that they're all connected to the network and see how they perform, we'll test each one separately, and then we'll pull on the network all at the same time on all three. All right, we're gonna go left to right, and we're gonna start with the Samsung Galaxy S22. And if you look in the corner real closely, let's see if I can zoom in for you guys a little bit here, you will see Wi-Fi 6 is connected. We gotta charge this phone. All right, so we are on the Wi-Fi 6 connection. And the expectation, according to the verbiage on the Verizon 5G home internet expectations of performance, we're expecting somewhere around 300 megabits down and up to 20 megabits up. So those are your maximum parameters, but you'll see we're getting a little bit extra there. 321 down, 24 up with a 30 ping and a three jitter. Uh, loaded, the downloaded ping is really low at 288. The uploaded ping not great at 1300. And you saw there was some variance as it ran that test. Okay, let's go ahead and do the iPhone now. Uh, this one is, I don't know if this is Wi-Fi 6. I don't know if the iPhone is. It might be now. I don't know. I don't even pay attention to Wi-Fi specs on iPhones. I just anticipate them to be lesser than their competitors. I know it's not very nice of me, but, you know, if, if you want cutting-edge hardware, you always go with a Galaxy, and you'll get the best, you know. So, anyways, here's the iPhone for you guys here. 326 down, and looks like we're going to end up around 15 or 16 up. Right, 16 meg up, and it was a 13, uh, 34 ping with a three jitter, and a download ping of 158, and an upload ping of 426. That's really good. All right, so some good stuff there, although the uplink a little bit slower than uh, the Galaxy. All right, let's test out the Pixel. All right, this is the Pixel 7. I'm actually recording on the Pixel 7 Pro, just so you guys know. All right, let's see here. We got a 31 ping. We got an eight millisecond jitter. Download looking pretty good. Looks like about 310, 310 megabits per second. We got a download ping of 405. And it looks like the uplink's gonna be pretty good. We're at or above 20. So 21.8 megabits per second. Uplink, uh, so the download ping of 405 and the upload ping of 379. That's pretty good stuff there. Um, let's go ahead and test two device pull at the same time. And let's see what exactly happens when we do that. Okay, I'm gonna have to just wham, wham. And let's see how it does with the available throughput, how it splits it up or whatever. And interested to see what happens I'm getting YouTube notifications so clearly it works all right so it gave a majority of the pull to to the iPhone because we started it there <laughs> all right so 313 down on the iPhone 53 down on the pixel that started second and looks like the uplink's pretty split got about 10 on the iPhone for the uplink 
and about 16 or so on the uplink on the Pixel. So those two devices at the same time. Interesting. All right, let's do the iPhone and the Galaxy then. Let's try that again. I don't expect it to be much different. Should be the same story as last. Well, I mean, I guess if you were just using this casually across your, your home with several devices, no issues, right? You would be fine, probably. Although it might impact, um, I don't know if you'd be like downloading a game or something like that. That's a large file that might kind of slow you down a little bit. All right, so the iPhone 282 down and about eight up, and then the Galaxy 78 down, and now we're seeing the uplink go up that the iPhone finished. Okay, and let's go ahead and do all three at the same time. All right, we'll start with the pixel on the right, and then we're just gonna go across to the left. And then boom, 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 all three. All right, so the pixel went first all the way to the right, and then the iPhone, and then the S22. Uh, it's, I wouldn't say evenly distributed, but you can clearly see that each one's getting something. <laughs> All right, 253 down for the Pixel, 174 down for the iPhone, 29 down for the Galaxy. 14, 13 up for the Pixel, 10, 11, nope, 9, 8 up for the iPhone. And we look like we're getting about 10 or 11 up for the Galaxy as it kind of had the bandwidth at the end. All right, so there's your Pixel right there. There's your iPhone and then there's your galaxy 930 uh, 930 a.m the smthq lower level testing the ryzen 5g home all right so this is 930 a.m i think we'll do the same thing same setup same phones and the same process later on around noon and see how they perform uh thank you guys for watching this video and if you liked it uh, let me know by hitting that like button and commenting down below. And, of course, comment to ask for any type of specific things you want me to test with the service. What do you want to see? Uh, more content on this particular service. I'm going to be doing more. I'm going to be doing some gaming on FIFA. I'll be connecting some TVs. I'll be doing the whole shebang for you guys. Let you know how it's holding up for me and then my experience. And, of course, you got the afternoon testing coming up and then you got the evening testing so we got more content so make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell notifications icon so you get notified whenever i do upload videos on this channel big shout out to the youtube members and the patreon supporters thank you for making content on this channel possible and making videos like this possible and we're ringing in the new year with lots of content coming to the channel so thank you for supporting me on those platforms and we'll see you all on the next video Peace.